see how the East is matching up. And you look at Indiana. This hasn't been the kind of year they envisioned. Time running out. Now Golden State's starting five. They're going to go small with Paul and Curry as the guard pair. The post pair for them. It's Green and Looney. And it's Thompson in at the three slot. And for the Pacers. In at the guard spots. Halliburton and Matherin. In the post, it's top and Turner. And it's healed in its small forward. Well, Clark, we might see a slower pace in tonight's game, maybe even lower scoring. Two teams here that really like to set things up. Could not agree with you more. These teams are comfortable maxing out the shot clock. They like an older, slower style of play, but they can be effective doing that. It's much different than what we're accustomed to with how fast teams play in today's game. Here's Curry with the three. Good on the triple. Stephen I mean, the range three is points. just unreal. Curry can make even the toughest shots look easy. Pass to Halliburton. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. Back to Turner. And Turner throws it down. A sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Paul with the ball. Coming off 31 points last game. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. It's one of the many things that Paul is known for, his ability to find open teammates. Now the pass to turn. Heel left side. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Well, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Pass to Curry, lets it go from deep, and another three for Golden State. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. Halliburton against Paul, outside Turner, three-pointer, and it's Looney with the rebound. Golden State's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Halliburton looking around. 11 feet out and he hits it. Whenever that mid-range jump shot is available, Halliburton is going to take advantage of it. He's a really good passer, but also an opportunistic scorer. Clark, here we are looking at Miles Turner, a terrific player. What stands out to you? There are a couple of things. His ability to knock down three-point shots as a big guy, but more than that, his primary attribute to me is the fact he's an outstanding rim protector. Excellent timing, runs the floor, and really protects the basket for his team. against Halliburton. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Chris Paul. The most positive thing about his last 10 games, the work on defense. His mindset has become very aggressive. The steals are up, and he's becoming a big factor on the defensive end. Back to Curry. Thompson, a screen on Matherin. Curry shot is off. Pacers trail by seven. Heald finds Halliburton. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Drills it from outside. At the arc, Halliburton confident. No fear, no hesitation. He sees a good shot. He's letting it fly. Curry against Matherin. Let's it go from 11. Looney down low. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Heel kicks to Halliburton. Inside. Shot clock at six. Matherin for three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. He'll mix one in here and there. Matherin stretches the floor that way, making the defense respect his three ball. Curry looking around. Green with a screen for Curry. Curry with another miss. Pacers trail by three. Here's Matherin. 
not a good performance from him in that loss to Houston. Raymond Green grabs the miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Healed against Thompson. Back to Paul. Over Halliburton. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist by Thompson. The next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Kicks it out to Paul. Puts up a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Three points. Paul's got seven. We talk so much about the passing of Paul, but CP reminding us here, he can shoot it too, guys. Passes to Walker. And here's Halliburton. Now here's Peyton. He's coming off a 10-point game against Philadelphia. Dishes it to Wiggins. Green with a screen for Paul. And it's Green with the jam. CP3 is so good orchestrating out of that set. I mean, he is really one of the gurus of the pick and roll. Halliburton passes to Walker. Outside for Halliburton. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Halliburton's got eight here in the quarter. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. That's Denise Smith. Halliburton on the wing. Now McConnell. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Houston. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Brown. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Paul. It's rebounded by Indiana. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. The pass to Walker. Now, here is Halliburton. Lays it up off the glass. Halliburton's got the lead up to one now for the Pacers. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Wiggins. Green with a screen for Wiggins. Back to Paul. Fires the three. Connects from three-point range. For three. Paul's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Warriors. So the Pacers call timeout. They're from... Matherin against Thompson. Pass to Brown. Back to Matherin. You know, Clark, I have to say, it seems like the college game has seen a bit of a shift in recent years. You cover it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game, much like the pro game, has become a little more perimeter-centric. The three-point shot has been a huge part of the game's evolution. And so you see more teams playing to space the floor and take advantage of the three-point shot. Not nearly as much back to the basket post play. So I do think the game has changed. And not necessarily good or bad. I think it's just different. Some solid defense from Sharich. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. And Green now, top of the key. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. 
I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. I also like the fact that they've been able to block quite a few shots so far. A testament to hard work and good positioning on the defensive end. Indiana again missing. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Here's Curry, and it's Golden State with another. That's their third straight make off an assist. Pacers trail by six. And here is Brown. He's got six. Kicks to top it. Pass to heel. Four on the shot clock. gets one to fall he's now one for five with his first make and what a show of agility by heel getting around the contact there and right to his finish two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. curry with it he had an 18 point outing in the last game against philadelphia and what opened things up for him was his passing he was making so many plays that the d had to play off him huge night for Curry in a great rhythm thus far. That's always bad news for the team he's facing. And so it's the Golden State Warriors headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From beyond the arc, they've been absolutely tremendous. And now we'll set differential. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. In at the guard spots, Halliburton and Matherin. And it's healed in at the three spot. That's the Pacers' five. Five to shoot. Here's Toppin. No good from outside. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for it. And clearly the best shot blocker in the game right now, and he has the numbers to back it up. Paul kicks it to Looney. There's the dish to Thompson. Thompson with the three. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And Clark, when we take a look at your former team, the Indiana Pacers, is it fair to say they're a work in progress? Most definitely, Kevin. I mean, I think they've got some really outstanding young talent as well as a very experienced coaching staff. That combination should bode well for the Pacers' future. Heel with the bucket. Leave it to Heel to respond. A consistent three-point sniper. The pass to Thompson. Back to Paul. He kicks it to Curry. Over Matherin. And Curry, the bucket on the assist by Paul. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, bucket by bucket, the legend of Steph Curry continues to grow. Top of the screen on Paul. Halliburton with it. Now Green defending. Paul against Toppin. Halliburton passes to Turner. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got eight rebounds in this game. against Halliburton. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. To the paint. Trying to find Curry. He's got it now. Can't get it to fall. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They trail by nine points. Halliburton outside. Takes a three. And Indiana, another three. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, it might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Thompson from long range. It's rebounded by Indiana. Heel from outside. And no good that time. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Paul kicks it to Looney. Back to Paul. 
Yes, it is, or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Turner finds Halliburton. On the wing, Matherin. That three off the mark. Warriors leading by eight. Thompson passes to Paul. Back to Thompson. There's the triple. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. And I don't think Thompson has ever thought twice about shooting. Supreme confidence in that J. Halliburton for three. Gets rebounded by Golden State. Looney's got nine rebounds now tonight. Turner with the steal. Here's Halliburton. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game, 10 for 13. Halliburton, such a special player, and his rush hour handles round out his game. Curry against Matherin. Curry crashes inside. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and top man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Paul against Matherin. Back to Paul from downtown. And another three for Golden State. Three. Wiggins passes to Joseph. Thompson outside. Shoots the three. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. When this fella starts knocking down threes, watch out, folks. Just pouring it on in this half. Upside Brown. McConnell against Joseph. Tipped away. Here's Brown. And again, it's Indiana. Timeout called the Warriors. Warriors call the timeout. Thompson is double. Green inside the three-point line. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. Burton against Paul. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just six points and the bucket from Halliburton. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Thompson outside. Another three for Golden State. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Here's healed. Outside Matherin. Here's Toppin. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Outside Green. the ball he dishes it to Kerr over Matherin he's again Looney with the bucket and the Warriors lead by eight and, and they continue to control the glass guys I think they've simply been the more physical team and that's why they're ahead all against Halliburton passes it to Matherin And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Curry passes to Paul. Thompson outside. But Trey. Pacers with the rebound. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Curry can't get it to go. And 
And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Eight point game. Matherin. Good D by Johnson. The Warriors have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Curry against Matherin. Tries it from nine. Curry shot is off. Indiana, they're working against the clock right now. They kick out to heel. Toppin sets a screen for heel. Up to the right wing. Toppin dishes to heel. Halliburton passes to Toppin. And a miss there on the triple. Warriors leading by eight. 116 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. That's tipped. Pass to Looney. Paul looking over the floor. And he makes good on the layup. Paul's got 11 in the second half. And they just didn't have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Warriors. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And this will make it 36 wins on the air for them. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Chris Paul. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Thompson passes to Green. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. There's the pass to Joppin. There's the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Matherin against Paul. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they.